constituents ambazo zitatusaidia kutekeleza ile manifesto na ile mpango ambayo wa Kenya wametuchagua tukiwauzia jameni watu wa Bungoma mtatusaidia huyu masika Moses Wetangola eh tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu please eh tuko na imani kwa sababu tunamwamini Mungu ya kwamba atakuwa speaker wetu na tunataka kuunganisha taifa la Kenya kwa kuhakikisha kwamba serikali yetu inajumuisha wa Kenya wote vile vile wakati tunasonga mbele eh, vile mmesikia eh, mheshimiwa Rigathi Gashagwa akisema huyu ndugu yetu Wycliffe eh, Musalia Mudabadi ndiye atakuwa chief minister wetu ambaye atasimamia mambo ya serikali kwa sababu we want to unite the Republic of Kenya na tunataka utendakazi we want an efficient and effective government that will make sure that we mobilize all the resources that we need to be able to take the country forward mwisho kabisa wacha nimshukuru Mungu pia na niseme Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission have also set a new standard for our independent institutions. To seme ukweli, IEBC katika uchaguzi huu wamefanya mambo ambayo hajawahi kufanyika. Wamefanya uchaguzi wa huru na wamefanya uchaguzi wa wazi if there is a transparent election that has been held in the Republic of Kenya it is the one of 9th of August 2022 <laughs> kwa sababu sisi wote tulipiga kura na hiyo hesabu yote ikawekwa kwa public portal Hakuna mtu amesema ile ilitangazwa kwa polling station haiambatani na ile iko kwa public portal. Si ni kweli? So the IEBC I must say has set a new standards of performance for all our independent institutions. We expect all the other institutions to measure up to the standard that has been set by IEBC and let me also say our good brother Wafula Chebukati has set a new standard for public servants in the Republic of Kenya <laughs> that we can resist bribery and blackmail and intimidation and threats and serve in accordance with public interest as a public servant and i want to say chebukati is the hero of this election si ni kweli yale mambo chebukati amepitia ile hongo amehaidiwa ile vitisho amepatiwa na amekataa na akasimama imara chebukati ameweka kiwango mpya ya wafanyikazi wote wa serikali katika taifa letu la Kenya and we can proudly say that Kenya is finally getting to the place where the truth and justice and public servants can serve knowing very well that what they do as long as they are doing right will earn them a place not just in the history of our nation but will also earn them a place as of respect as public servants so nataka nishukuru sana baba wetu askofu 
Unajua sisi tulisema tuko na Mungu na wananchi. Na hapo ndio tumekwama. Tuko hapo kwa Mungu. Kama hatungekuwa na Mungu, hawa watu wangekuwa wametulemea tayari. Na hii ukora yote na hiyo mpango wengine yote. Na kwa sababu tunamwenzi Mungu. Na hii kanisa tumejenga pamoja na nyinyi. E, tumeambiwa na wale wanasimamia ya kwamba bado hatuna viti kule juu kwa kanisa hii na kwa hivyo e, ule chairman mimi nitapangana na hawa viongozi hawa especially hawa wadosi wadosi hawa tutawapatia milioni tatu muweze kufanya hiyo kazi ndio bwana boss tutatuona hapo kando baadaye kidogo si ndio na mukikwama njiani mjue sisi tuko si ndio si tulianza pamoja mpaka tutakamilisha pamoja tunawatakia heri tunawatakia baraka ya Mungu na mzidi na kuombea taifa letu la Kenya asanteni sana